Okay, here's video number two. Sorry it's taken a few days. Been studying for the Series 65 securities license and haven't studied in a long time. So uh, tomorrow's the test date. I'll have a little bit more free time after that. So here's the video on how to train your working dog to make you some money. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so back to Lester real quick. Reminding everybody that he was a puppy. Uh, and one of the things I did to end up with a happy, uh, mild-mannered working dog was kept him running, kept him working, kept that heartbeat elevated at least three times a day. It, it was fun. You know, I'd take the drone out. He would chase the drone for an hour. You want that ball? We lived near a golf course. Always carried a golf ball in my pocket. Any chance I could get to just throw him the ball, he would get it. So keep him working. But other than just exerting themselves, you got to keep them using their brains. They have to be able to start wanting to do things. And the reason we got him originally was to find truffles. Uh, not chocolate truffles, the underground mushroom. Uh, this is the Italian black truffle, tuber melanosporum. Um, won't go into the details how I got into the truffle business, but let's just say in 2019, I ended up in Spain um, on a truffle tour. And these were one, you know, some of the first dogs that I had met who could find um, the black truffle. And it was, um, it was a sight to see. Yes, Lester was a puppy one day. I found some old shots of him. Oh, wasn't he so cute, Lester? Okay, so I got this trick from a woman by the name of Stacy. She literally gave me the step-by-step -step on how to truffle train your dog in like two weeks. Here's the basics. First thing you do, you take an ordinary wine cork. Okay. I like red ones because it has a little smell to them. And what you're doing is you're taking this ordinary wine cork and you are associating the word cork with rewards. Get your treat and your cork and start by doing just this. Oh, Lester sit. Lester sit. Lester sit. Up, oh, Lester sit. Take the cork, hold it down, and say, Lester Cork. Oh, good boy. As soon as he touches his nose to that cork, you give him the treat. If you do that enough times, pretty soon he just associates cork and treat. Pretty soon, what you can start doing is Lester sit, Lester sit, Lester sit, Stay, 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 stay. Hide the cork in the other room. Okay, Lester, come find the cork. Where's the cork? Where's the cork? Where's the cork? Find the cork. Find the cork. Find the cork. Oh, go oh no, wait, where's the cork? Where's the cork? Good boy. Okay, I'm going to hand this over to my uh, 2019 self here in just a second, and uh, he'll explain a little bit more about the truffle piece, but notice in that last clip, he didn't quite touch his nose to the cork during the training process. I made him go back and do that. Very important. I know you all know that already. Is we order truffle, but then I get little pieces of truffle, little pieces of, these are little pieces of Italian uh, black truffle, tuber melanosporum. And I wrapped these up, little slices of it, in coffee filters with a little piece of black tape around it just to kind of protect it. So the smell comes through and I keep them in the freezer. Mm, they do still smell like truffle. Hey, 2023 self, just a reminder. So after you get the truffle pieces and you transition from cork to truffle, just do the exact same process, exactly the same, except now you change the word to truffle. I, I started with show me, but I also use find me. Find me a truffle, show me a truffle. Try to keep those consistent. Um, and you should do good. Where's the truffles? 
Where's the truffles? So once you get done, you've gone through the cork, you've hit it in the house a bunch, your dog's getting really good at it, just switch it up. Find a good treat. When Lester goes truffle hunting with me, we don't go often, but um, he gets his main treats when, when he's truffle hunting. I'll, I'll cook prime rib, cut it up into little pieces and make them work harder when they know their treats are that much better. But this was the first time uh, I hid those truffle pieces in the yard. You know, there's about six different spots out here. Where's the truffle? Where's the truffle? He did a good job. So they can pick up the scent and they get used to it. When you see their head snap back, you know they got something and he found this one. So I confirm it then he gets a treat. It's just as easy as that. So. I hope that makes total sense. There's really not that much more to it. I mean, it took me about, I'd say six days to have him fully trained. I mean, look, he's not, he's not working all day. I've never had him in the orchard for longer than a weekend, maybe. But the point is, I've got a trained truffle dog. So now when I get my property and put my 25 to 50 trees in, who knows how much money I can pull off this thing. Um, so that's how I trained a truffle dog. It's really a great activity for a smart dog to learn something. And it's something you guys can do in the woods. It's amazing. So the little girl, we're going to try to train to find chanterelle mushrooms. We can't forget about the little girl. Remember the little demon dog we're raising here? Her and Lester are going to have a great time. I got to find an activity for her quick. What did you get a hold of? What did you get a hold of? What would you like? <laughs>